So you think you're a portrait photographer, but you don't earn money from those portraits you take. If that's the case, to be honest, you don't really have any business investing in Skylum's new AI portrait editor, Apity. <laughs> We'll take a quick look at what the software has to offer shortly, but I just want to save you some time. If you're a generic photographer um, and you don't really photograph people, then just forget Apity straight away. It's not going to be right for you. Who is it for? It's more designed for working professionals that do portraits on a regular basis and are looking for a way to speed up their workflow. Now, I've already covered Apity and what it's all about in another video. So why am I making this one? Well, it's pretty simple. I have got subscriptions for Netflix, Disney, Adobe, like everything. Everything seems to be moving to a subscription model. And that is what I want to save you from because I cannot stand subscriptions and Apity is going to be moving that way as well. So I want to save you if this looks like a good fit for you and your portrait photography business. Now is a really good time to get hold of it because you can purchase a one-off license and they have a limited number. And I know a lot of you grabbed it already. That number dropped down. They had a thousand initial licenses at $199. They all went. The price has now gone up, but only by fifty dollars. It's two hundred and forty-nine. They released one thousand more units, more licenses. Once that is gone, I've heard from people inside Skylum, they will be moving to a subscription only model. You will not be able to get hold of that license anymore. Of those 2000 licenses that they made available, there's currently only 183 left. So if you do want to get one, if you feel that it's right for you, now's a good time. But as I say, word of warning about this, this isn't going to be right for everybody. This is designed as a specific tool to help professional portrait photographers. And I would expand that to people who shoot weddings as well. So I used to shoot a lot of weddings. This would have been fantastic for doing the retouch work on the brides, bridesmaids, all of that. Just throw it into Apity and let it do all of that blemish retouching, skin retouching, all of that really time consuming stuff that, to be honest, oftentimes, unless it was going into the wedding album, I didn't even do it. So if it allows us to elevate the quality of our work that we're giving back to our client, you know, that's going to be a really good thing. And that automation, if you're doing this as a business, is just invaluable. So when is Apity actually going to come out? Well, the very nebulous time frame we have is fall this year. But that's fall for you guys in the Northern Hemisphere. I'm in New Zealand, and so I'm guessing that's springtime. So it shouldn't be too far away, but the exact date we don't have yet. But as soon as I have a beta copy, I'll be here giving you guys more of a demonstration on it. Also, do not buy this software if your computer cannot handle it. However, if you're a working professional, I have no doubt that your machine will be more than capable because the specs you need are an Intel Core i5 or better, at least eight gigabytes of RAM, a hard disk with 10 gigs of free space, and a display that's bigger than 1280 by 768. I mean, come on, it's not 1990 anymore, right? But you never know, it's worth mentioning, right? And of course, the higher spec your machine, the better the performance is gonna be of any software that you're running on it. Now, while I still don't currently have access to a beta version, Skylum have updated their website with some new sample imagery. So let's take a look at that. The quickest path to perfect photos. As you can see, 183 licenses left. And this little example here is actually really nice. It's a retouch going on with traditional methods on the left-hand side with 10 times video acceleration, uh, similar to what they had previously. But I think this is a more an authentic uh, retouch example that you may be working on. So I think this is actually really nice the way this cleans it up, keeps the structural look of the model exactly as it should be, but that cleanup is actually really nice and it even leaves her freckles intact as well. Eh, not all of them, but most of them, and I really like that. So why use Apity? Well, we've covered all these kind of things. Batch editing, plugin support, so you can still keep your workflow if you wanted to in Neo or Lightroom, whatever, and then just use Apity for those final retouches. And the time-saving technology that they're referring to is absolutely extraordinary. I did see examples of this when I was actually in the Azores and I had a meeting with the guys from Skylum and actually looked at what they were doing. And honestly, it was really, really impressive. I mean, just looking at this example of the before and after as well, um, we can actually flick to the original and we can see how this is built up with blemish removal. So before and after, we can smooth the skin, 
We can correct the skin tone as well. I think that's a really nice touch. And I'd just like to point out to those of you who've asked the question, is it similar to Luminar Neo? Does it replace Luminar Neo? No, it's a completely separate thing with different algorithms that actually run this, like more advanced, more high-end stuff that is specifically designed to deal with portraits. You know, Luminar Neo's portrait retouching stuff, it's mediocre at best. It's okay, but this is actually creating some really nice high-end quality results. And the thing that caught my attention here, if you use Luminar Neo, you'll know that it has a shine removal feature designed to get rid of little hot spots where lights reflect off the skin and it's all shiny. It doesn't really do a very good job. However, here, if I move this left and right, let's zoom in a little bit and we look at the before and after. You can see those shiny patches on her forehead, on her cheek, and on the nose as well. And they've actually been really beautifully minimized. So it's that kind of technology that I'm actually really, really excited about with this. And of course, the batch retouching is gonna be an absolute game changer because it's gonna apply all of those amazing technologies and work through your photos and actually fix them one by one. So it's also gonna have intelligent face sculpting technology whether or not you agree with using this in your portrait photography, you know, that's open to interpretation if it's a ethically good thing to do or not, but it's there, it can be done. And the cool thing with this is they've created a new algorithm which uh, puts so many more points creating a mask of the face so that those remapping, reshaping of the face is so much more accurate. So let's have a quick look at this. We've got original, we've got face reshaping, so the slimming down, we can um, bring the nose in as well. You can reshape the eyes, eyebrows, lips, make those lips fuller because, yeah, we all know that big plump lips look great. Um, so we've also got other tools in there like portrait background removal, studio light um, structure. I feel like this particular area where it's talking about super contrast, high key vignette, I feel like this particular bit, they are borrowing technologies that exist in Luminar Neo. So there I feel like there's a little bit of a crossover, but to be honest, it's probably not those tools that I'm gonna be wanting to use in Apity. I will be combining Apity with the likes of Lightroom or Luminar Neo to actually create a complete workflow. I'm not gonna be using this as a complete solution. I'm gonna leverage those skin retouching tools. I'm gonna to leverage the automation features. But if I'm wanting to do things like, I don't know, I'm saying that I may actually change my mind because I can imagine you could build a preset where you actually specify the exact amount of vignette you want, the amount of contrast that you wanna build in. Maybe you do wanna put a little bit of high key in there. So forget what I just said before. I'm gonna go with the jury's out on that. Uh, we'll look at my workflow when it comes out. And of course, as I just mentioned, yes, there are going to be presets and they are going to be some really beautiful filmic looks that we can add to our photos as well. And if I scroll down, we'll just go straight past this. It's talking about that face mask that I was talking about before. Um, let me get all the way past here because this is what I want to talk about. Here's Julia, Julia Trotti. I've met her, like just a wonderful person, really good soul. But the most important thing is she is a fantastic portrait photographer and she's working in conjunction with Skylum, mentioned that before, but that's really important because she's going to be directing the coders as to what she wants to see in a true professional portrait photographer's workflow, not just leaving it to the eggheads to go, oh, I think this would be a good tool, let's throw that in there. So having Julia on board is really going to help guide the software to become something that, as she said, um, Apity is the portrait editing software I've always dreamt of creating to help save time retouching while maintaining professional results. That's my buy-in. The fact that she's involved with this, like I believe in her. So yeah, that, that's a cool thing. A couple of questions that people did have was, do I get Apity upgrades for free, like forever? Um, I, th I think <laughs> to try and promise that you're going to get upgrades forever is, is a ridiculous thing um, and no business is likely to do that but they are doing uh, the free license which will be yours forever plus upgrades for two years beyond that initial point so any upgrades for two years 
And in case you don't like Apathy, this is nice. There is a refund period of 14 days. Uh, within that 14 day period of when it's after it's released, and you're like, hey, you know what? It's not really what I'm after. Hasn't really delivered all what I hoped for. They do a money back guarantee. So that's kind of, yeah, that's reassuring to know, right? I don't think I really need to say any more than that because if you are a professional portrait photographer, you know the power that is in this and how it can help you. If you are not and you're like, oh, I wonder if that'd be any good for me, it's probably not going to be right for you. So if that's you, stay clear, save your money, go treat yourself to a pie or something. <laughs> a pie. Um, there's better things to treat yourself to. But if you are a portrait photographer, doing this professionally as a business, you know, just drop the cash. It really is a pebble in the ocean when you think about your business costs, like look at all those lenses back there and cameras that you guys have got as well. The amount of money we spend on our gear, $250 for a really useful piece of software to help us in our business, I think is an absolute no brainer. But yeah, Bear in mind those things I've said if that is not you and don't rush out and get it, okay? It's right for some, not for everybody. If you do get it and you haven't subscribed to the channel, click the AT right there because I will be covering how to use this, best practices and workflows when it comes out. And if you're curious to see how I'd go about using Luminar Neo to do a full portrait edit, you might wanna check out that video right there where I walk through all the tools and all the steps. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.